What's happening y'all, it's Will aka Sir William and one of the trends taken off here lately in the overlanding industry are these small overlanding off-road or expedition style trailers. Now these ain't your granddaddy's teardrop, okay? These are nice off-road built rigs that are designed to get you out into the wild and go anywhere that your truck or your off-road rig can go. And there's inherently a benefit to being able to set everything inside the trailer, bring it out only whenever you're ready to go camping, leave it at the campsite while you go explore the trail, and then come back to a really nice place to stay. Also many of them are hard sided and I don't know about you guys but you'll never catch me in a tent in Montana. That said, many of these things, like other things in the overlanding industry, you have to pay an overland tax, meaning that it's some kind of imported trailer from overseas somewhere, and the quality might not be all that great, and you have to pay a whole lot of money for it. However, I recently hooked up with the folks over at Big Frank's Outdoors, and I found out there are multiple different manufacturers making great off-road trailers right here in America at price ranges for any budget. One of those places is High Altitude Trailers. They make one-piece fiberglass off-road trailers out in Colorado and I had a chance to go through their factory and I wanted to take you guys with me. Today I'm in Sedalia, Colorado, the home of high altitude trailers where they're making really cool one-piece fiberglass off-road and expedition trailers. Let's go check them out. This is Dakota. Dakota is the one running the show here at High Altitude. I'm here with Robert. Tell us a little bit about High Altitude Trailers. High Altitude started in uh, 2015 as Altitude Teardrops. Uh, my business partner Dario Diaz started building trailers back then and uh, he grew it until uh, 2018 when he felt like he just really needed uh, some more help and, and an infusion of uh, all the things that are necessary to build a business and so I ended up partnering up with him at the very end of 2018 and so we uh, rebranded as High Altitude Trailer Company and uh, really just took it from there and last year we sold 80 trailers and uh, with two models and so we're just happy to keep building we've got nine employees here at our 15,000 square foot facility two main models that uh, we've been really building on we've been experimenting with a couple others and uh, the two are the, the big ones XT50 and the PSX50 and they come in quite a few different arrangements. They you told do. me a number earlier, it was quite yeah. staggering. So what's yeah. the different arrangements you can get? So with an XT50, uh, the shell itself is standard, so that, that never changes. Uh, however, we offer so many different uh, options to the trailer. It's about five and a half million variations of a trailer. So you can really make it your own. Pick your own color, you can uh, add a air conditioner if you want, a rooftop tent. Uh, hot water heater, all sorts of fun different things that make it really your own so when you get out there and really be able to get back to the wild which is what we're really trying to do is provide a product that allows you to get out there go anywhere and do anything and experience adventure again really experience the wild uh, where up to now you really can't take your trailer where your truck can go so now we want you to be able to do that. Well, you guys got a really cool operation here. Everybody's in-house. Pretty much the yeah. whole thing is made here in-house. So it is. take us through the back here and let's see All how right. these things are made. This is a XT50 in process. So this is our standard shell. It is a fiberglass foam core composite shell, one piece. It comes in two and we seal it together with a, an adhesive called methamethacrylate and it ultimately makes the seam stronger than the shell itself. So it is one piece, you've got an inch and a half of insulation all the way around once it's built. Uh, it's uh, on top, you can see this is a spray bed liner on here so that rocks or anything else that's flying off your truck are not gonna damage your trailer at all. Auto body paint on the outside of the trailer so that gives you a really nice finish on there. Once it's, it's mounted to our shell, you can see we have a fiberglass foam core composite board on the floor so you have insulation on the flooring as well. Once that's in place, then we start installing the additional insulation as well as the hard flooring. And then walls go in place, cabinetry goes in place, and then we finish out the build out. Tons of different exterior options on our trailers. So it's really how you want to make it. We have uh, eight standard colors that are an option for people to pick from, and most people like them. Uh, every once in a while, for example, we have on this trailer right here, it's a Rivian yellow, uh, matches up with the Rivian truck that is going to be towing it. Oh, that'd so be cool. So they wanted a color match, and so we did that for them. 
So we can really do anything on the color that you want. We've even done some wraps uh, if you really want to wrap. This one's got some extra options on there. I see a rooftop tent up here. Yeah. I see a really nice uh, AC in there, which you need in the south. So. so yeah, this is a Dometic RTX 1000, 12 volt AC. So it runs off our 12 volt system in here. You don't actually have to be at a campground to use your air conditioner. It runs off our uh, standard solar panel that's on, on every trailer, as well as a lithium battery that's in every trailer as well. Wait, so you've got your own power system? I don't have to run to an RV park and plug it in? Absolutely not. As long as you're not in uh, in the dark for uh, several days, you're, you're going to be good to go. We've tested this, uh, running it out full max, and uh, 18 hours straight still didn't drain the battery because the solar panels were right enough to use. We do, the ZAMP panels that we have on top have an additional port, so if you really feel like you're going to be someplace where Okay, it's going to be a bit more cloudy. You can get a portable panel and add to the bank and get just that much more juice com coming in. Um, so in interior work here, this is a standard cabin build with our cabinetry inside. It's a maple cabinet grade plywood as well as uh, we offer a walnut grade. You can see the hardwood floors in here, um, power, everything you need can uh, hang out and enjoy your time. We have a uh, tri-fold mattress, so when you get to camp, uh, you can unfold it and have a nice time. If you're stuck in weather, you can fold it back up, make it into a couch, and chill out on the inside, as well as tuck it up underneath the cabinetry when you're traveling. And we do have D-rings built in here, so you can tie down all your gear inside the cabin for traveling and then when you get to camp, you just pull it out and set up camp. Nice. And this particular one's got a nice little spot right up here for side-by-side -side or four-wheeler or dirt bikes. Yeah. Or... So this is definitely built for hauling that. Uh, we've got a 17-gallon water tank with a water pump, which is an option. It's a very popular option. Uh, so yeah, built for toy hauling or if you wanted to set up your chairs and have a patio. In addition to the uh, air conditioner, the uh, rooftop tent is an option. Uh, a lot of times each dealership wants to put that on. However, if you really want one, we'll work with you to put that on. The uh, roof racks come standard from Front Runner. With the air conditioner unit, we go with a higher foot to give you clearance over the air conditioner. Standard is a, a lower foot. And then the exterior light bar comes standard on the PSX. It's an option on the XT50. This is the galley. Uh, Camp stove comes standard, as well as a uh, Bluetooth speaker, and your this is your power monitoring center. The Dometic fridge is an option. It's one of our most popular options that comes. Uh, and so we have a, a Tembo Tusk slider on here to uh, house the Dometic fridge. And that's a stainless steel counter up there. Stainless steel countertop. It hasn't been peeled off yet. It's yeah. been delivered to the customer. Uh, we won't we won't scratch it up. Kitchen grade, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, so cabinetry again maple. This unit has got a, a spare tire swing arm on it. We have a Camplux propane powered water heater, instant water, hot water. The propane is also an option that we mount on here. We're working with Overland Vehicle Systems. They're 270 on it. So I call this one the 270 plus. This has got an additional arm that takes it out to the front as well as 270 across to the back okay it can come with walls if you want so you can build your own little interior cabin here yeah to have some privacy so if you want to take a shower and don't want to get naked um, yeah in public you can have a little privacy that's really cool man now you said that these things are equipped with batteries of uh, standard absolutely okay how what size battery bank are we so, talking and what uh, type of batteries we have a, a 100 amp hour battery lithium from Dakota and that's housed underneath okay and they all come standard with 100 amp hours all come standard and you can upgrade that if you wanted to or yes so you can add an additional battery uh, add additional panels if you want uh, so far we have yet to see where somebody's run out of juice uh, with the 100 amp hour. With the 100 amp, yeah. Even with the fridge, or I mean um, the AC. Even with the AC. Man, that's super efficient. Yes, it is. Okay. That Dometic, because again, 
got to remember, we have an inch and a half of insulation all the way around the trailer. Mm. So once that gets to temperature, as long as you're not constantly going in and out of the trailer, you're, it's going to stay in eco mode and barely draw any power at all. So you, you start, start it up right before you go to bed, let it cool down the trailer while you still got a little bit of sun left, and then it'll go into eco mode and it'll keep it frigid in there all night long. And I noticed you got windows on the doors that also mm -hmm. open too, yeah. so you can get ventilation Absolutely. if you wanted to. But man, I tell you, with a super efficient AC system on your trailer, I'd just no, rather pump you? the AC. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, does that work as a heater too? Or? No, just, just a okay. air conditioner. We do offer a diesel heater option. Okay. Um, again, uh, we've put that on a couple people who have lived up in the Northwest and and go skiing every weekend and stay at, out of the trailer for skiing weekends. Yeah. Um, I know I have slept in one of our older demos uh, at down to 10 degrees, negative 10 degrees without a heater system. And my biggest challenge was getting up going to the bathroom. Well, now this one is obviously kind of a, a special deal. So yeah. this is a double axle. It's going to use a solid axle, but you and guys then, use a couple different types have, of axles. Yeah, so we have two main uh, choices for axles. So we have a solid 3,500 pound Rockwell leaf spring axle and then a 3,500 pound HD Timberin axle for independent suspension, if that's what you choose. We have 31 inch tires or 33 inch tires on the XT50, so really make it look like you want. Again, we have a customer in here that has uh, custom wheels, wants to match his truck, we can do that too, as long as the wheel spacing allows it. One of the cool things I like about the high altitude trailer is the fact that it is that one piece, which is gonna eliminate a lot of the faults that you have with a uh, standard you know, teardrop or uh, RV style trailer. And the other thing that I really like about high altitude trailers you guys are making it all here so you guys are. are making the chassis included which a lot of companies don't do and they kind of yeah. skip out on that if i wanted a high altitude trailer and i contact big frank's outdoors get an order put in take me through the process of what happens after that okay so once we've agreed upon the invoice with the customer or with our dealership and it's to the customer specs we will go through and build out our internal work order system to make sure that we build it to the right specs starts it has a two-prong approach to, to build the trailer fabrication where we make our own frames ladders swing arms and any other metal products in-house so as you can see we've got uh, our fabrication shop moving along right here and then the other prong is our auto body so where we get the shells so our shells are made here in colorado again by a, a partner a fiberglass shop they come in two halves and then we marry them together and uh, build them out. We prep them for paint, we prep them for body, uh, the bed liner spray, and then uh, have them ready. Once the proper frame is built and the proper shell is built, they marry up together in the assembly operation and move forward from there. Our shells have an interior shell that's put inside. It's again made of fiberglass to help prevent any sort of mold or any sort of uh, water damage that might happen when you spill your beer inside the trailer. Happens to me all the time. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's our, our main build process. It comes from fabrication, comes from auto body, moves into assembly. And it's all here in house. All right here. And you said how many employees are involved? So right now we've got nine employees. We're looking to grow. Uh, we're definitely seeking a few more to help us build out. Man, that's awesome. Now I want to take one of these things out and put it Absolutely. through its paces. Thanks for showing us around, Robert. Yeah, cool. Dude, those high altitude trailers are legit, right? For more information on high altitude trailers or other off-road and expedition trailers, be sure to hit up Big Frank's Outdoors. He's got you covered whether or not you're on the East Coast, West Coast, or anywhere in between. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button if you want to follow my adventures. And until next time, you guys keep hanging in there like a hair on a biscuit. And remember, you can be happy if you've a mind to. Peace, y'all.